Hey guys, it's the Right Hand Lad. I'm joined by my friend Hamster. Hello again. It's been not too long. We're going to talk about like the, the accelerator versus Nephew's fight and and why he doesn't actually scale. I guess like the first thing to go over is that she literally just starts like laughing and like giggling throughout the whole entire fight, and like she's unfazed. Like after like the fight's over, it's like that she's like unfazed by the whole thing. And like the encounter, like, even though she's like she's just, like she's like just a floating head, and accelerator even says he only managed to get a draw out of it from like someone who wasn't even like participating in the fight, essentially. Like then you agree how? Also, well, obviously, because there's like a whole other instance before this fight, because the thing is with magic gods is they seem very nonchalant about everything. But the thing is, they can't actually be scared for their lives. Like with the Kamisato instance. Let's see. What happened in there was simply... Kamisato showed power that was overwhelming. It was... It was scary. It made her While retreat. Accelerator, <laughs> it made her sweat, too. She was, like, mixed in the emotions in a moment. It, it, it was ridiculous. She... While with Accelerator... She's like, I see, I see. That's that's a pretty good skill you got there. The best as he he's gets... out on the ground, yeah, yeah. like what? The best he gets is like she tongue clicks. She she presents a mild annoyance to to to, to him. That's what accelerator does. Best man to get out of it. And like thingy, even like the scaling. Like you, they say, like oh, he tore through ne- Nephius, so that means like yeah, he scales to her, but like not really. Like high priest, he he gets melted by magma, and he gets burned up in a like a rocket, like from what well, sorry from like entering the atmosphere, but he's still able to like casually like deflect, like a thingy a railgun right, and he he gets tackled by Toma, so it's like his durability he can like manipulate his durability to be whatever he wants, and like Nephi has a nang nang state if they were to fight high priest, it would like destroy the Pacific Ocean. Meaning they're like exchanging attacks with each other so they can tank each other's attacks. So they can just like manipulate their durability whenever they feel like it to be whatever they want. Especially if Unless she wants she to be. Unless she wants to be able to destroy oceans. Yeah, especially if she wanted to be entertained in this fight. Like, there would be no reason for her to like raise her durability so she can't be her. She wouldn't be entertained from that, would she? And also, there's some little odd things in the fight too. Like, for example, when she charged into help Hamazur, technically. Uh, she uh, kicked through the reflection somehow. Yeah, she kicks through the reflection, like, she just blatantly overpowers it, and then she tackles him as well. So, like, she just scales above the, then... <laughs> the reflection. Well, you can say that, yeah. And then, like, even, no. like, even if you say, like, he did scale alter, like, a scale, like, in speed or whatever, outsped her, then like you get this, the the weird ass scaling chain that you get like ham you know what I'm talking about. Okay, if you say that accelerator blitz Nephis, and pretty much Nephis was letting herself getting hit many times anyway, she's just smiling as he's charging in and doing that. Anyways, if you say he blitzed her, you will remember in the next arc, accelerator fought evenly with. Elizard and Elizard was pretty confident in her Kurtana. She's like, "Oh, this can cut you." M- Mid fight, and pretty much she's smiling like, "Oh, I can get you. I can tag you for sure." And if I remember correctly, Elizard scales below Caressia with the Kurtana, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cuz she only has the like if, fake version. And if that's the case, then Kanzaki, Night Leader, and Aqua, who's like next, I believe. Yeah. They can they can fight her. They're like all relative. So this would mean like regular yeah. saints are just like they would be above in speed to magic gods. And then no, the... no no no. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> this is more important. So you got these saints, right? Now let me remind you, there's two other saints that are Relative to Kanzaki, or just outright better, we got the saint named Brunhild, who fought with Kanzaki and was almost pushing her back at the beginning of the fight, 
because of her burst and speed instantly. And we got Sylvia, who was said to be potentially a threat by Night Leader after he just dunked on Kanzaki. And let me remind you, um, you remember when Allers was uh, nerfed to like Oblivion? Normal magician well, level. Okay, now remember this. Sylvia and Brunhild are going in for an attack to kill a magic god, Othanus, and freaking Toma. Now Allers closed the distance between them while they're mid-attacking, and he grabs the attack from Brunhild, diverted its direction towards Sylvia, who's mid-attack, and they both knock each other out. So is nerf allers faster than Nephthys? Yeah. And like another thing is that like spoilers, I guess, for GT Genesis assessment or whatever, but anyway. In GT five, Exar is put in a prison that's made of the same materials the Windows building. And he says now that he's he's in here, he can't he can't go in and out as he pleases. Referring to him using his strongest attack in OT thirteen to break the building to the try and destroy the Windows building. Meaning he himself concedes that being trapped in a uh, that he uh, sorry, he himself concedes that the windless building level is like his cap, uh, like multi continental, which means he, none of it unless you scale Nephrius to like multi continental or whatever, none of him actually hurting Nephrius translated to any sort of like AP whatsoever, for him like gaining it and gaining it or anything like that. He's still multi continental and his AP is still like the same, so that just even more confirms that like she was holding back and lowered her durability. And I'm pretty sure in the New World, like during New Testament 17, Nephthys or Nanning was talking about how, oh, I, we left this world because we can destroy the world whenever we want, and it'll just come back. And by world, that most likely means universe. Yeah. And also, uh, let's see. Even if it means planetary, for some reason, there's a big difference between multi-continental and planetary. Yeah, like several thingy to the several like mega jewels. <laughs> so I, I guess that concludes the video. No, sorry, that doesn't scale to Nephius, but he did get a pretty good amp with like his shield and being able to focus on directionality of things to like reflect the flaming sword. But but anyway, uh, I'll see you guys next time, and I'll probably make some other content. I got a Gabriel video, a cosmology video. Like and subscribe.